It's a Friday afternoon. We are here with Tanta Butelezi at Unity Gallery. So, yeah, man, tell me uh, what's your name, where do you come from, and what do you do? Thanks. Uh, my name is Ntlantla Butelezi. I was born in Johannesburg but raised in the Northwest Province. I came back to Gauteng and I'm a business communication specialist and a writer by profession. And uh, what's your perception in education in South Africa and what do you think should be happening? Education in South Africa has been significantly improved, um, especially with the 1994 <laughs> yeah. dispensation. Yeah. The 1994 yeah. era um, improved quite a lot of things drastically. Okay. However, there are a lot of surface level challenges and one of them being equal exposure to resources. We have a situation where you have one school that has all the resources that you need and the other school in the rural areas that have that do not have a specific thing like a textbook, let alone a computer center. Mm, and then, like, uh, I mean, like, have you done anything in jail just to improve those things that you're talking about, like the textbooks and kids who don't have um, any resources in jail for your own personal? Okay, that's a good question. What I currently have um, is an idea that would see a partnership yeah. between government and the private sector. Okay. And how this partnership would work is would basically be to create skills development programs for children um, as early as those who are in standard four. Mm. Talent management mm. uh, and the teaching of human values and ethics. Yeah. What that is able to do is that it holistically builds up the pupil and it not only gives them the general knowledge that they have about the environment, but it also gives them that, that impetus that they need to not only take these studies seriously, but to be able to advance their societies and environments, irrespective of the shortfall in resources that they might have. Okay, why, why, why? did you come up with this idea? Was it based on your personal or education experience? Both. Both. This idea basically came to me out of frustration. <laughs> Uh, what were you doing before you were frustrated? Like, I mean, how did you get up to being frustrated? Look, the thing, the truth is, I witnessed a whole lot of schools that lack like, basic fundamental infrastructure. And mm. when there's no infrastructure, one cannot learn. We know that education is a very critical thing, and um, a lot of schools lack that basic infrastructure. You know, a lot of schools, the buildings are dilapidated, um, computer resources are literally non existent, mm. and the, the little idea that I have, hoping that the private sector would give a lending ear to this, is for them to not only provide financial resources, but also um, resources of learning into building up society as a whole mm -hmm. uh, and identifying areas of growth, particularly in skills development. That way, children who matriculate do not matriculate as empty robots, mm -hmm. but they matriculate as pupils who are capable and have skills that are willing to be developed and prepared for the corporate world. Okay, I mean like, uh, what, 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 what do people say when you mention these ideas? Any feedback from corporates or government types? Look, a lot of people believe the idea um, is out of this earth, but a lot of them believe that it's improbable. And they believe that it's improbable simply because it hasn't been done. Now, as you do know, logic asserts that just because something has not been done does not mean that it cannot be done. Okay. <laughs> you know, um, the private sector has never been in partnership with government, and that's why I believe the coming together of the two would create a concrete institution for the bettering of our schools and of our society. Yeah, man. And do you think such a thing would ever be likely? In the current nation that we live in, no. Simply because we have a leadership that fails to think. Um, I think the idea would be given here and action by people who are fearless, people who are willing to take risks, but also people who have the future generation of this country at heart. Okay, uh, thank you, Mr. Pock. Uh, you. Is there any, like, any words, shout outs that you want to like, just give out for the podcast for this special video? Education is not certification. There's a difference between education and certification. Education is the moral, emotional, intellectual, and spiritual advancement and development of a person where a certification just merely says that you are specialized in a certain degree or area of expertise. Know the difference between the two, sure. Thank you. <laughs>